why is Christianity different than other religions? And why does that even matter? A lot of you may be asking the question and just think that it's the same thing as other religions. What you have to understand with all religions, with all basis of belief in a god or a type of god or gods, is that we are going to be judged by our works. And that's the basis of many, 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 like almost all religions. We're going to be judged by our works. And the same is true for Christianity, except for the fact that it puts such a beautiful spin on it that is so original and unique. You may know of Jesus, you may know of the works that he has done, that he was the son of God, that he came down to earth and he lived a perfect life. And the reason that is important is because in Jewish culture and traditions, there would be a sacrificial lamb. And that lamb would take the atonement and all the sins of the Jewish people and they would put it on the lamb. And they would sacrifice it to God. And so with sacrifices, it's something else paying for what I, we have done. And that's God says that it is acceptable and it is sanctified. It is allowed. He allows that. And so what Jesus is, he is the ultimate sacrifice. He is the atonement for all of our sins. He is the one and only sacrifice that we need to do now because he lived a perfect life for 33 years. So... The reason why Christianity is different is because while we are going to be judged by our works, if we believe in Jesus and we believe that he did die on the cross and he rose again in three days and we accept that and we live our lives for him, that is an important part that we live our lives for him, that our works are covered, that when we go into heaven, we come before God and he says, why should I let you into heaven? Why should I, why should I allow you to? stay here to live here for all eternity we say lord i'm a sinner just like the rest of them but my works have been covered all the evil done all the evil i have done is covered by the blood of jesus christ he has covered me and my works are now you you blotch them out they are covered you you don't even you ignore that you just see jesus when you don't see me and because of that i am loved i am healed and I'm covered. And that is why Christianity is different. That is why we can get to heaven. So accepting Jesus and, and becoming a Christian is um, very, very easy. It's learning to trust in Jesus and that he actually, actually existed, that he was a real person. And I think it's indisputable that he existed, that he was a real person. And I think it's indisputable that he died again, even though you may not agree. Because look at everything that's happened since his death. We're living in 2021. That's a reflection. Literally, the year is 2000 and 21 years since Jesus. Everything has revolved around him since his birth, since his death. The Roman Empire, it spread everywhere. And while a great evil has been done in the name of Christianity, those people, they weren't Christians. Like, you may know of the Crusades and say, oh, like Christianity is, is evil. It's like the rest of them. That's not the heart of the gospel. This book here promotes nothing but love and of peace and of joy to all men. It puts an end to racism and it says it, that this is... The love of God is acceptable to all men, that he shows no favoritism among men and among women. It teaches men, it teaches women how to love each other, how to have a good relationship. It says, do not cheat on your husband, do not cheat on your wife, because that's it causes so much heartbreak. And the Lord says that he is near and he is close to those that are brokenhearted. This is what the Bible teaches. It is not an awful, it is not an evil book. It is a book that promotes love, promotes kindness, and it promotes patience virtues that i need everyone needs and hopefully that you will accept this into your life and once you accept this into your life you will see how it grows it grows that you become more patient you become more loving with your family with your brother or sister or your parents or your loved one your spouse you will see how this just by reading this book by praying to god while you may not think it works it, it touches you like psychologically, it changes you, the way your brain thinks. Because once you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit living in you. And this is a very, very important aspect of Christianity. That once we believe in God, we have 
God living in us. You may think that's all oh, that's weird hippie nonsense, but what it is is we are made pure, we are made whole because after we accept Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes into us and it's a gift from God. That's what the Bible says. And you may think that's stupid, that's wrong, but the Holy Spirit is like another voice in your head. It's like your conscience, but it becomes so much more louder once you accept Christ. It says not to do the evil things and it encourages you so much when you are down when you are dismayed when you are depressed when you're anxious it encourages you and it gives you love and a joy and a peace when you are down and encourages you to go out and to be a blessing to others to to give gifts to others to help others when they are hurt when they are down when they are depressed and anxious it encourages you you to do that it encourages you to speak the truth of the gospel it encourages you to be a it motivates you it disciplines you to be a morally and ethical person to be honest to not lie to others and to be just honest and it creates so much less of a headache because a lot of times people will lie and they 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 should just be honest and encourages you to just be honest so that you can help your relationships to have people who have more trust in you stuff and because they have more trust in you they you start repairing your relationships like it focuses so much on people and on loving people this is what the whole bible is you know, about of serving god and of serving man this is the two commands that the bible gives us to serve god and to serve man to love the lord with all your heart your soul and your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself to love God, love man. The Bible is a beautiful thing. And I encourage you to read this book. Start in Romans, start in Hebrews, if you don't know where a place to start, as it's such a beautiful thing. And it gives you real love and joy and peace. So I'm going to pray for you. And I hope that you have a blessing over your life. Your only Father, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for another person, for the other person that is watching this video. Please be with them, Lord. Help them to speak your words, your life, your truth. Encourage them, Lord, whether they be an atheist, whether they be a, a Bible hater, whether they be an LGBT member. Help them read your Bible, Lord, and help them to see the truth that it has. There's undeniable truths, the, the, the biblical aspects that it teaches of love and of peace and of kindness and of joy. Please be with these people, Lord. Help them to be blessed. And help them, Lord, any Christians that are watching, to be a blessing. Help, please use them, Lord, as a tool to be a blessing to others. I ask that you be with them on this day and help them and be with them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for another day of life. Help the person and be with them and bless them, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you and have a good night.